Hi guys, Kim here at Olive City Homestead. Perspective is a real thing, isn't it? We all know that, well, there are people on Facebook and Instagram that post their pictures that make everything look perfect in their lives, in their gardens, in their homes, not here. I try to keep it real here, but even so, occasionally I find that I'm letting some of that wanting to look good creep in. And I tell myself it's because I don't want to discourage anyone. I want to show you the good side so that you will be encouraged and want to get out there and garden and try new things. But the fact is, bad stuff happens too. It really does to every gardener. And guess what? All gardeners have a black thumb too, mm, at least when it comes to something. Some of us have bigger black thumbs than others. I have a huge black thumb. I am not a natural gardener. At least when it comes to houseplants, I can't keep anything alive. Let me show you um, a different perspective right now on something that looked just gorgeous last year, all throughout the summer, fall, winter, and even early spring this year, back at my March garden tour, my artichokes. Let's go take a look at uh, reality today. I usually let 80% uh, of them go to flower because I enjoy the flowers so much. This year, I let all of them go to flower. I know that sounds like a crime to some people, but it is what it is. Nobody in the family really likes them except me. And I actually prefer the flowers than the, what for me is inconvenience of cooking them up. Usually I cut them back and get several blooms, but not this year. In fact, this year, let's look at a different perspective of the artichokes. This year, my artichoke bed looks horrible. <laughs> horrible. And they're all blooming way down here and the bees are enjoying them. But they look like they've been through a really major battle, and they have. What happened here was twofold. First, we had extreme sudden heat for two weeks. We had 100 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. And artichokes usually love the heat. However, it was so sudden, and it was in May. Uh, not usually when it happens and they just didn't know what to think of that and they started right away showing signs of suffering but what actually did them in was the wind we had a week or week and a half of windstorm at the same time we had the heat and it just it just took them down and that's because I had let them get so tall this stock for instance oh let me stand it up oh this is difficult Excuse me. Excuse me, bees. All right, so usually it's like this, which is uh, over my head, so it's about six feet. And so that's way too tall. I have two problems. You know, every gardener has their weaknesses, and we have to admit them if we're going to conquer them eventually, or at least maybe not conquer them, but but um, work with them and, and alleviate some of the damages those weaknesses cause. My weaknesses are one, overwatering. I do tend to overwater. I don't do that with artichokes because I learned that early on. They don't need a lot of water. But my other weakness is I don't like to prune things back. I like to, as you can see over there in my herb bed with the oregano and the winter savory and uh, more oregano, I let it go to flower and I let it grow all winter. And eventually I do cut it back. I do. <laughs> and so far it's worked fine with almost everything, my method of madness, that because I appreciate all those flowers and I like that natural overgrown look for the most part. And it worked fine with the artichokes. If you look back at my video earlier, 
last year with the artichokes they were over five feet tall and they did fine however when you combine extreme heat and massive strong wind storms and tall dried out artichokes it doesn't work <laughs> so they all blew down and so my five-year-old artichoke bed well I'm not gonna rip it out I'm gonna cut them down to the base because I have a feeling that they'll shoot up new growth in the spring from their base that's what they usually do and these are still alive right now so though they don't look it <laughs> at the bottom uh, so that's what I'm gonna do and I didn't even mention that when they dried out in the heat and fell over then the aphids came in and attacked them and I've never had aphids on the artichokes before so uh, that certainly hasten their demise so i'm going to cut these all off at ground level and put something else in this bed probably a uh, squash of some sort or pumpkin and we'll see what happens in the spring with the artichoke but they're so easy to grow and were so beautiful and lasted so long i definitely will be planting them again and this is what the artichoke bed looks like now i have cleared out the plants i've left them lying near my other beds because the bees are still enjoying them. And if the bees are enjoying them, the bees will probably travel to the nearby plants as well, which include all kinds of uh, growing squash and peppers. Yes, the bed has now been cleared. I've left the base of all of them. And, and amazingly, even though the bed was six foot high in March, and full from every side to every side there's really only three spots they were growing in two down here and one spot over there they just had branched out so much and bushed out so much that it looked like they were growing from everywhere so now i'm going to plant some squash in here I haven't decided what kind but on my upcoming june garden tour in a few days you'll see what i put in here well if i direct so you won't see because there'll be seeds and they'll be under the ground but uh, I can tell you. And if I cave and go get starters, well, then, then you'll see some leaves. And we'll talk about the future. Because as you can see in the next bed, I have tulle draped around my squash plant. And there's a very important reason for that that I've never had to face before. But that's reality, again, coming into play. Things change from year to year, season to season, and you have to be flexible as a gardener and just, well, as a person, don't you? And that's what life's all about. So I hope you're not discouraged by that dose of reality. I'm not discouraged. I'm really grateful for the five years I've had with those artichoke plants and how great they've been, how oh, almost without any need for any kind of care they've been, and how well they produced and how well they provided for the bees. So uh, yeah, I'm encouraged actually. I think they'll grow back again in the spring. And for this summer, I'm gonna plant the other veggies in there. And um, I'll probably plant a few little plants in there just in case no pups come up. And then if pups do come up, I'll just transplant uh, either the pups or the new ones I started into another bed. But I know that artichokes are worth the effort as are so many plants in our garden pretty much all of them for that matter so yes perspective does mean a lot I didn't need to show you that bad I could have just cut that stuff down without ever showing you how awful it looked or telling you about what had happened but what's the point of that this is about learning I love to watch other YouTube channels on gardening because there's always something new to learn and I think that's gonna be true 20 years down the road there will always be some interesting fact some little tip uh, some new plant some new way of doing things and that's why I'm so grateful for the whole YouTube venue and I want to bring that to you as well so yes there are things that perhaps I could have done to avoid what happened and then there's just again reality and accepting that after five years those plants just couldn't take what was dished out to them this season and it's time to start something new which I will now do if you enjoyed this video or at least <laughs> learned a little something from it or even were just amused hey hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel where I do try to post videos at least once a week that offer simple gardening advice easy gardening that anyone can do and simple living garden ideas that get you thinking and and encourage you to be a little creative and go out and try something perhaps a little new for you so hit the subscribe button if that sounds interesting to you 
And remember, you can create the garden and the life you want. So don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. Have a great week, everyone, and I'll see you next time.